Hey Matt, this is Frank with Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video to show you how you can easily bring in more uh, business by extending your online presence to the Howell, New Jersey area. I'm not sure if you service that area, but it's fairly close by, and it's where most of the online searches for plumbers are in your area, and there's uh, no plumbing companies that currently have a dominating presence there. Uh, so if you are uh, looking or considering growing your business in Howell, uh, this video will show you how to capture those online searches as hot leads for your company. Uh, so let me just show you here on the uh, Google search page. You can see you know, when I scroll past the, uh, the uh, Google advertisers up top and then the map pack down below. Um, once you get past these uh, directory sites in the organic listings here, the number one ranking site in Howell is My Plumbing Guy. And so uh, when you look at, actually I wanted to show you, this is, uh, this is actually a back page for him. So he's got a, a, a root domain, my plumbing guy, newjersey.com, but then he's got different back pages for each different area or location that he would service. So you can see here, uh, the service area is how So he's got a separate page for, for, like I said, each service area that he services. And, and the reason he does that is because it allows him to use local buyer intent keyword phrases so like plumber and howl or howl plumbing for example if you were to scroll down his page um, you could see plumbing services in howl like he uses those are called local buyer intent keyword phrases because those are the phrases that will be searched for online or he wants to be found for online by by people looking for plumbers in howl so he he's okay. creates a separate page so that he can use these uh local buyer intent keyword phrases uh, more frequently in his content. See, again, he's got over here plumbing services and how and he's got it like nine or 10 times on this page. And that's why uh, Google's able to match up his back page here to what's being searched. And so you could set up, and that's where the recommendation would be if you, I know you currently are the number one ranking uh, site in, in Belmar, but if you were servicing some of the other low, uh, nearby towns, the recommendation would be to set up a service page uh, for e or a location page for each area that you service um, because that allows you to get, you know, build out your content so that it's referencing the, the service area. And like I said, it's mentioned enough times where Google can pick it up as, as you're the, you know, the, the best re result for what's being searched for. Uh, so that is, that is the recommendation. And, you know, it depends on how your competition is, but, Generally speaking, you want to have more content than your competitor has. So another recommendation here would be to just add more content to your, to your homepage here specifically. Um, and then if you were to have a separate location page, you know, you'd want to have a decent amount of content on that page too, so that you have enough words on your page to be able to use the local buyer intent keyword phrases more frequently. Um, so that is, that is content. And then on the second, uh, I wanted to show you secondly what, what matters aside from the content and the amount of content and the local buyer intent keyword phrases being embedded in it. You want to have a, a good backlinks profile and you can see here that these guys, these guys um, like my guy plumbing is actually beating this back page is beating everybody despite not having any backlinks. Um, so that will show you that it's fairly it's going to be fairly easy to beat him in Howell as well as the other towns that are around you because I didn't see any that had uh, significant uh, backlinks or anything. Um, so you had, if you had a service page for each location, like I said, and you put some backlinks on it, um, which are nothing more than just links from other sites over to your site, and they help Google uh, to recognize you as a legitimate site because they, they see those links as an endorsement. So anyway, I would suggest if you did build out your site like that, that you add some backlinks to it. Um, so that you could right here. I can see you have on your site. You have three backlinks from two referring domains You're not getting power from them like most backlinks provide power You're not getting power because and I can tell that because you got you have a DR score of zero So that means that the links that you are that you have currently they're not from trusted sites uh, You know sites that Google sees as trusted um, so what you want to do is you can go out and, and link to sites that have higher DR scores. Uh, a, a good score for a, a DR score for a company is 30 or higher. So you, that's what you'd want to link to those kind of sites. And you could find, you know, some online directories, you know, like, like yellowpages.com, for example, has a very high DR score. So if you got into there, for example, that's going to give you a, a, 
higher backlink or better backlink profile than some of your competitors are going to have. Um, and there's many of free online directories that you could that you could sign up for uh, that would that still have a decent uh, DR score. So anyway, that's something to be aware of on your backlinks. But your competitors don't have much in terms of backlinks. So really, if you're able to beat them on content, you you'd be able to own this uh, organic listings section of the of the Google results page for Howell and, and same thing with some of the other cities that you service. But I just wanted to show you if you did own Howell, you know, there's a hundred searches per month on Plumber Howell, New Jersey, another 80 for Plumbers Howell, New Jersey. Um, and if you did the same thing in Lakewood, you know, you capture more. And then so some of those other towns that are right next to uh, Belmar are pretty small and don't have a lot of volume, but these particular Howell and Lakewood are the closest to you with actual, you know, fairly significant volume, which you'd be able to capture some good percentage if you owned the, the top spot or top couple spots uh, in the organic section. In the, as far as the map pack goes over here, this is just based on the strength of your Google business profile. So there's uh, some suggestions for how you could uh, boost your profile uh, to get into some of these other areas. And uh, we could talk about that if you have any questions about that as well. Uh, but if you uh, did have any other questions about anything I did cover or, uh, you know, if there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to know, feel free to reach out. Um, if you wouldn't mind just giving me a uh, response to my email just to let me know that you had a chance to view it and if, if you found it helpful or not, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks and look forward to hearing from you. Take care.